Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss how we are going to conduct SLR, Systematic Literature Review in the area of entrepreneurship or any, any sort of area you can choose. So Entrepreneurship, Education, a Systematic Literature Review of the Evidence, this paper has been published in the year January 2006. And I just want to share with you what were the steps of SLR. The purpose of this paper is to explore different themes within entrepreneurship education via the use of a systematic literature review, but how they have reached on these themes, that's most important. So let me share with you, those are total 11 step process of systematic literature review. This is the methodology. Author has been adopted. And now we come to the 12 stages. So there were 12 stages within the review methodology and these are outlined in table one. So let me show you, this is the table. So what were these stages of SLR process? Number one is the stage one is the researchers use entrepreneurship journal rankings to identify key journals in the field in rank one, their work. Four journals in rank two, there were 10 journals. In rank three, there were 47 journals. So that means ranking or we can say ranking of the journals. We can first of all, we can organize and how many journals are falling in that particular rank. First of all, we would categorize. Then we come to the, on the basis of the citation, the citation indexes of all 61 journals from 1980 to 2004 were systematically searched using the root term education. So relevant articles, citations and abstracts were downloaded into bibliographical software. Any, any software nowadays, a number of softwares are available. So at this stage, there were 48 citations. Now the stage three, stage three, the bibliographical software was used to identify keywords used in the 48 citations that could be developed in search strings to conduct a wider search of citation indexes. So there were 27 keywords has been found out. Next is stage four. The stage four keywords were constructed into search th strings like here is, for example, entire star or enter star and business education or business school or colleges or higher education or university. University means a star means that will take entire world and not information system. That is the one of the inclusion or exclusion criteria. So there were 10 search strings identified. Then the stage five, the search strings were used to search AB ProQuest 116 further citation were found with 18 duplicates from stage two. At the end of stage five, there were 146 relevant papers identified finally. I'm going to share with you this particular paper I am discussing in this video that would be available in my description link. So you can download this paper and after that you can read this paper and you can cite this paper in your further research. So stage six, it's saying the researcher took a selection of key journals from rank one and two. And after that, and use a narrative approach to explore the bibliographies and each article for further relevant citation. So ultimately 34 articles were reviewed and there were 60 citation identified which 13 had not been identified in, in stage 5. So narrative cross-referencing confirmed a systematic review success rate of 78.3% at the end of this stage that were 159 citations. Then we come to the stage 7 using the bibliographical software key authors in the field were identified as per the number of the relevant publications. And uh, this was the carried out for each author cross referencing the systematic element of the review. And further 60, 26 citations were found indicating a systematic review. Success rate was 60.6%. So at the end of this process, only 185 citations. Then we come to the stage eight. 
The citation data from the bibliographical software was exported into narrative coding software that is NVivo. NVivo software is already available and you can run your data in NVivo. So a first level thematic analysis was conducted by coding article abstracts. At the next stage, a secondary thematic analysis was conducted by coding the output from the first order coding and more detailed themes were identified. In the stage 10, thematic framework was developed to describe the interrelationship between the themes. And stage 11, articles were ranked for quality using impact criteria. And last is article were reviewed according to thematic focus and level of impact. That means the stage 4 is including stage 10 as well as stage 11. So that one is the reviewed on the basis of the thematic focus as well as their impact criteria. When we scroll down this, uh, all the steps has been written here. And further, you can see here, whatever is the area they have taken into consideration, thematic analysis, how you are going to write thematic analysis after running all these stages, then we come to the, you can see here, uh, first level of thematic coding have done over here and the all the percentage and all these things has been written over here and uh, next we come to the uh, thematic coding you can see here and uh, further we will move to the last stage in that form you can represent your entire analysis. So you can see a thematic framework for entrepreneurship education in that way you can represent whole process and further we can see here now we can go for university enterprise context and you can see here at the last stage uh, we can see sample of the evidence on student intentionality and, pro and propensity you can see here all the papers summary has been written here and uh, at last, we will move to the sample of the evidence on graduate entrepreneurship. I mean, these are the themes. On the basis of themes has been prepared, these tables has been prepared. And uh, finally, this one is the total number of the references you can put here. So in that way, you can write because this is a review paper, systematic literature review paper. So those are the keywords has been used that has been put it in the appendix one. And the search strings used in citation database has been put it here in. You can take help of these kind of tables. And this has been uh, written as appendix. So I'm sure this paper would be helpful to you how to write a systematic literature review paper and thematic analysis. So keep watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.